Hi Facebook, thanks for joining us again. I'm Talia Varga from the Mail Online in London. Now, today we're here to talk about the story that's our banner and also the banner on the dailymail.com. It's uh, the Obamas touching down in the UK. They've been here for about 24 hours now and they have quite literally swept the nation. They've uh, jumped in the helicopter, Force One, and they've headed over to Windsor. Now, this is to meet the Queen and Prince Philip, the Duke of Edinburgh, to have a nice little uh, engagement. Now, this would look like a formal engagement. However, we've had uh, people driving cars, walking across lawns, hairdos in the back of cars. So, to talk more about this story, um, I'm joined today by the former Royal but Butler, Grant Harold. Thanks so much for joining us today, Grant. Good afternoon, Talia. Thank you for having me on. You're more than welcome. So, um, let's start by talking about um, what we can expect when we have these sort of state visits. Is this normal etiquette? This is this is very relaxed because a, a normal state visit is very ceremonial, and it, it's all kind of done in a. In a very different manner. You have uh, you have an inspection, uh, an honour of, uh, of guard that are inspected. You have ceremonial um, processions. Uh, you have a state dinner. Where this is not, I wouldn't say this is a state visit. This is more a, what I would call an official visit. So it's um, it's done very differently. It's done. It's more informal. Okay, and let's talk. Let's start off by talking about uh, when they first arrived in Windsor. So they um, arrived via their helicopter, which is called the Marine One, um, and they were greeted on the lawns by the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh. Um, does the Queen often do this? Is she often standing, waiting on the lawn, sort of excited is, and ready for this visit? This is it's really nice to see this because this is uh, very much a, a hostess and her husband, the host, actually going to meet their guests and invite them into their home. Now, if it was a state visit, this certainly wouldn't happen um, this way around. And also, if you had somebody ar ar arriving in London by helicopter, they normally arrive at Kensington Palace and then drive over. We're here, we're at Windsor, uh, there's an area for the helicopters to land right next to the castle. They can drive down, um, pick up the guests um, who, who are staying with them and uh, take them back to Windsor. So it's, it's very, again, it's informal, but it's, it's just really nice. And it's nice for people to see that side, I think, of the royal family. Of course. If you've just joined us, I'm Talia Vargo and I'm from the Mail Online in London. I'm here talking with the former royal butler. Um, and we're here talking about this banner story on dailymail.co.uk and dailymail.com. It's the Obamas. They've headed over to the UK and this morning they've been meeting the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh. If you'd like to get involved in this conversation, you can like sh or share this video. And you can also leave a comment down below. Give us your questions. Are you watching globally? Let us know. Um, so, Grant, let's carry on. So, uh, as we can see in these photographs on the story, the Queen's there in a um, very nice sort of uh, pale blue suit and also a headscarf. Now, I mean, that, that comes quite sort of across as informal, like she's there on the weekend. We heard um, earlier this week from the former royal chef, um, Darren McGrady, and he spoke about how the fact that she was, she was a massive hostess. She really likes to host and really likes entertaining. So um, let's just talk about this first photograph on the story where she's shaking uh, Barack Obama's hand and she's in the headscarf. Uh, talk more about that for us. Well, I mean, again, this is just showing you the, the kind of informal side of this visit because I said it's not, uh, I would certainly not class this as a state visit, it's an official visit where um, the President's only in the country for a couple of days and there isn't a, a dinner with the Queen tonight because he's, he's obviously um, with Duke and Duchess of Cambridge and Prince Harry, but for this uh, lunch, the, he's, he's flown in by helicopter, uh, the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh have come, come from the castle. A uh, very short distance to where the helicopter lands, and as you can see, this is obviously them just uh, meeting uh, as they've just arrived, and it's it's a very uh, it's a very warm um, photo, I think, because you can see there's a, a genuine uh, friendship there, uh, which is very clear to see, and and everybody's smiling, which is fantastic, and the handshake, it's just a it's a nice handshake as well. I mean, I I teach people about handshakes, and this is a a very good uh, a firm but obviously gentle handshake. Of course, and don't forget you can like and share this video and get involved in the conversation by commenting down below. Let's talk about the handshake. So um, you're, you're saying it's quite informal, it's quite a friendly handshake. Yes, what, yes. what makes you say that? It's the way also, if you look at how the president, he's kind of, 
he's kind of uh, leaning in towards it. Obviously, he would have. I, I'm assuming he would have done a bow, uh, obviously for the for the queen. But again, it's that kind of warmth, the way he's kind of leaning into. Her. And likewise, she's reciprocating. I mean, she's kind of the, the smell in her face says everything. And um, it's just it's just a very warm. Uh, photograph and it's just it's just nice to, to actually see something uh, like that on a as I say not it's an official visit so but it's also uh, a host and a hostess welcoming guests to their home. Okay great so further down in the article we can see a um, photograph of them all starting to walk away on the lawns you've got the Marine One helicopter in the background now, as we can expect, usually uh, the Obamas have their own car in London, which has been nicknamed The Beast, and um, they're usually expected to be driving around in that. Now, we can see in this photograph, uh, they're almost walking away, you're sort of wondering where they're going to, what's happening next. Windsor Castle's only um, a few minutes' walk from where they are at that moment. Now, as we can see, they then get into Prince Philip's Land Rover. So Prince Philip is driving, we've got Barack Obama in the front, the so Queen, they, Michelle Obama in the back. Let's talk about that situation. Is that a normal situation, something we can expect? It's normal in private. If, if you, again, uh, as a host or hostess, it's something you would do for your guests. Obviously, we're talking uh, not about a normal um, couple. You're talking about the, the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh. And again, if it was a, a state visit, this certainly wouldn't be happening. But because this is a private, it, it's a, an official, but it's also a private visit for the Queen today with the President. So they, again, they're treating them the same way they would with their guests. So as you would go, if you were picking somebody up to take them back to your, ho your home for, for lunch, you would, you would expect to go down and pick them up and, and drive them back. And it's, it's also quite nice, again, to see Prince Philip actually driving them. Uh, again, it's it's the, the perfect host and hostess taking uh, a couple back for lunch. Of course. If you're just joining us, I'm Talia Varga from the Mail Online in London, and I'm here talking to the former Royal Butler. Um, we're talking about this banner story here uh, on dailymail.co.uk and dailymail.com. If you're watching globally, let us know. Whereabouts in the country are you watching or other countries? Well, actually, uh, Yvonne's been in touch from Aruba. Oh, wow. Very exotic. So, hello, Yvonne. Um, let's get back to talking about this story then. So they're in the Land Rover, they arrive, um, and we've noticed that the Queen's had a slight outfit change. The headscarf is gone. I'd like to imagine that in those short couple of minutes, Michelle and the Queen have had a, a girly chat, almost like two ladies heading off to the toilets and helping each other with the makeup and the hair. Um, what can we expect from this? Let's look at the body language and. Um, the way everyone is in that car. It seems sort of quite friendly, doesn't it? I mean, I, I can't imagine the Queen taking her headscarf off to anybody. No, I mean, again, she's in the car. Uh, I don't know, the weather looked a bit drizzly, which is probably why she had the headscarf on. And of course, in the car, of course you're going to take it off because you, she's not going to keep that on. And um, and it is, it's, it's, again, it's fantastic to see this image of the four of them in the car, the Duke's smiling, um, the President's obviously sitting next to him, uh, and Michelle Obama and the Queen in the back. And it would be a chance for them to obviously just start the initial kind of, um, you know, welcome, welcome back. And uh, probably talking through what, what the plan is for the day or what they're going to be doing. And um, it's a very short distance, so there wouldn't there wouldn't be much time to, to to chat. Just enough time, probably to you'll be just getting comfortable as they as they arrive. Do you think it was almost like a show, though? They've sort of got in Prince Philip's car for that two minute drive. I mean, they could have used Obama's cars that were by the helicopter. They could have walked. Yeah. There's so many different scenarios. What do you think? Uh, no, I, I, I think this isn't, I really don't think this is um, a show at all. I, this is definitely a, a couple, um, of course it's the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh, but it's still a couple who are actually, uh, they're, they're entertaining for lunch, their guests have arrived, and like any other good host or hostess, you, you, you know, they're, they're, they're doing the right thing by going and, and welcoming their guests, and rather than get them to walk to the castle or send somebody else, I think it's really nice that they've actually gone out and, and got them themselves. And this is something that uh, I would expect to even the royal family and similar families to do. If you just joined us on Facebook Live, I'm Talia Varga from the Mail Online in London. Uh, if you want to get involved, please like or share this video or leave a question down below in the comments box. Let's uh, start by recapping the story, shall we? So we're here talking about the banner um, on the dailymail.co.uk and dailymail.com. I've been asking you to get your questions in. Lisa, is there um, any ready? Yeah, we've had a few people get in touch. Joe Powell says that um, in that headscarf, the Queen looks like a cleaning lady. Um, but Kath Oliver doesn't agree. She says, absolutely not, she, she looked lovely. Um, Jane Hale's been in touch. She wants to know, um, what do we think they had for lunch? 
What do you think they had for lunch? It, it's a good question because, like anybody, you, the, the diets kind of change and the kind of the favourites. But normally, with a with a kind of meal, you'd I would expect them to be having something along the lines of a uh, maybe a fish for starter, um, a meat course, uh, and po- possibly a pudding. Uh, Unlikely a dessert, but you never know, or possibly cheese. So it would be, um, it'd be quite a, it'd be a, a good sized lunch. But again, remember, with those kind of bigger meals, you always have smaller portions. So it would, um, I'm, I'm guessing, it'd be something along those lines. Of course. Okay. Um, let us know. What do you think about uh, the Queen's decision to wear a headscarf? Did she rock the look, or should she leave it at home next time? Um, right, Grant. Let's keep going through the uh, banner story then on the dailymail.co.uk and dailymail.com. Um, here we have them standing inside Windsor Castle today, looking very nice. Uh, the Queen looks very formal there in a nice a sort of pale blue suit. Mm. And uh, we've got Obama and then Michelle Obama and the Duke of Edinburgh. Uh, now, obviously in 2009, the Queen gave a special treat to Michelle Obama and her daughters for Sasha's birthday. I believe it was. It was on their final day of their tour. Uh, she took them round Buckingham Palace and they sort of had a nice official visit with her. Do you think that's where the long standing friendship sort of started? I mean, that's quite a few years ago now, about seven years ago. It, it possibly, it, it could have been at, at that point, but I, I, I think from what I understand, uh, you know, through many, many um, decades, there's always been a good relationship between um, America and the UK, and it's, it's always continued, and I think the Queen uh, and the Royal Family embrace that, and they do make them feel very very welcome when, they, when the head of state comes over. And, and again, with the President, I, I think... It, from what I see of them, what I, I kind of know of them, which is very little, they're a very warm, friendly cu- uh, couple or family. And I think that's something that the Queen and the Duke and the rest of the family would, would appreciate and want to. Fantastic. If you're just joining us, I'm Tally Varga from the Mail Online in London, and I'm here talking about the banner story on the dailymail.co.uk and dailymail.com. You can join in the conversation by liking or sharing this video. And of course, please get involved. You can either send a question by commenting below. Um, I think we've had a few more. What what would people like to say, Lisa? Dawn Gray's been in touch. She's watching in Kentucky. Um, and Anna is Anna Isabel. Hope I've said that right. Says um, it's nice to see the link between the form, you know, the formality of the royals and the informality of the Barmers. Of course. And now that's a really interesting point to touch on because I'd say. Uh, there's quite a few traditions, uh, English people are quite traditional, they like to stick to their rules and what's yes. going on. Whereas the Americans, they've got this real f- sort of drama about them, the real theatre, they're sort of coming here and they're big high security vehicles and it's almost like they've let their guard down today, haven't they? They've sort of let the Queen take charge, I've got this, get in my car, don't worry, we're carful. Yes. It is, it is wonderful because it's it's both of them, um, I'm sure the Obamas will, will uh, be uh, being the perfect guests, uh, but likewise, the, as you've just said, the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh, they'll be uh, shown that, uh, as well as doing things officially, because they have been um, for a state visit in the past, but this time they're showing them the, the more kind of, uh, the normal kind of approach, the kind of traditional approach you would get if you visited any kind of similar, and I know we're talking about Windsor Castle, but I would expect that kind of treatment from any kind of country, state, or or even in any of our homes, you know, if you have good guests, I'm sure if any of us had guests and they were at the local station, we would go and pick them up and bring them into our homes and make them feel welcome. So this is very much British hospitality being demonstrated by the royal family. It was wonderful, wasn't it? I was watching the footage earlier as they were arriving, and it very much seemed like it was sort of like a long lost family get together. Like uh, yeah. they were arriving, they were going to have their Sunday lunch, and they were going to go and have a chin wag and really catch up. Mm. I mean, I'm sure the, the thing is, what we see on, on the outside is, is when they have these uh, visits, which is is not that often, but I'm sure, uh, and I don't know for a fact, but I'm sure that the, the Queen and the President on occasions possibly do chat, so I don't think it's as if they haven't um, communicated. I'm sure, like any heads of state, they do communicate and they build up that relationship over, over the many years that he's been in, in office. Of course. Let's go back to this photograph here. So they've just arrived at Windsor Castle. They'll all stand. It almost looks like um, someone's living room, doesn't it? It's not one of the most poshest rooms in Windsor Castle. It's got a few sort of sofas, a really nice rug, and um, it looks like it's a fireplace behind them. And then a modest-sized flat-screen TV. 
something that we'd expect in our living rooms, not sort of the Queen. Well, <laughs> Again, this is, it's really nice to see because it's it showing people that even in a place like Windsor Castle, it's still a family home. And, you know, okay, we're not going to have exactly everything they've got in there, but it, but we can all recognise things in there. You've got the, you've got the, the, the things that we, we are used to. And it, it is giving people that kind of, it's letting people see into, inside that private side of the home, which is, is wonderful to see. And I, I love the fact there's a television in the corner which shows that they, they do watch television. 